now we are discussing about uh, civics in that uh, political system in that uh, we are discussing about american political system so many professionals and so many seniors and those who are acquainting very good information with uh, america always all will people will uh, wants to know what is the american political system especially in indians also will concentrate so much what is the system they want what is the system in america they want to know something few words but that is the information so we are now discussing about the simple information regarding american political system the us is a country of 50 states covering a vast swath of north america with alaska in the northwest and hawaii extending the nation's presence into the pacific ocean major atlantic coast cities are new york a global finance and culture center and capital washington dc midwestern metropolitans metropolis chicago is known for influential architecture and on the west coast los angeles hollywood is famed for film making hollywood is there in los angeles then uh, next point is uh, what is america's political system called the united states is a constitutional federal republic in which the president congress and judiciary share powers reserved to the national government and the federal government shares sovereignty with the state governments how is the next point is how is the us political system structured the federal government is composed of three distinct branches legislative executive and judicial whose powers are vested by the us constitution in the congress the president and the federal federal courts respectively and then the next point is what are the four types of political systems key takeaways the major types of political systems are democracies monarchies oligarchies and authoritarian and total totalitarian regimes authoritarian and totalitarian regimes are more unstable politically because their leaders don't enjoy legitimate authority and instead rule through fear and the next point is what is america's political ideology america's american political ideologies usually align <clears throat> with the left right political spectrum with most americans identify as liberal moderate or conservative modern american liberalism is defined by welfare capitalism and social liberalism developing during the progress progressive era and the great depression then the next point is is the usa a direct de- democracy is the usa is a direct democracy united states in the new new england region of the united states towns in uh, states such as vermont decide local affairs through the direct democratic process of the town meeting this is the oldest form of uh, direct democracy in the united states and uh, predates the following of the country by at least a century then the next point is what type of democracy is the us the united states is a representative democracy this means that our government is elected by citizens here citizens vote for their government officials these officials represent the citizens ideas and concerns in government and the next point is how does the american presidential system work a total of 538 electors form the electoral college each elector elector cashes and vote following the general election the candidate who gets 270 votes or more wins the newly elected president and vice president are then inaugurated on january 20th in the us two party system My next point is is the yes a two party system 
the United States has two dominant political parties. Historically, there have been few instances in which third party candidates won an election. And the next point is, uh, what do liberals stand for? Liberals espouse a wide array of views depending on their understanding of these principles, but they generally, but they generally support individual rights, including civil rights and human rights. Liberal democracy, secularism, rule of law, economic and political freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of press, and freedom of religion. Then the next point is, when did America become democratic? The federal constitution, the American revolution, then popularized this principle, followed by the constitutional convention of 1787, which developed institutions to manage popular will. What next point is, what defines federalism? Federalism is a system of government in which the same territory is controlled by two levels of government, generally an overarching national government is responsible for a broader governance of larger territorial areas, while the smaller subdivisions, states and cities govern the issues of local concern. Then the next point is how many political parties are in USA? The modern two-party system consists of the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. These are the two main parties. Then the next point is, what do conservatives stand for? The ad they advocate low taxes, free markets, deregulation, privatization, and reduced government spending and government debit. Social conservatives see traditional social values often rooted in uh, uh, familialism and religion as being uh, threatened by secularism and moral relativism. This is the information regarding uh, American political system. These points will give a fundamental idea to every, everyone to know the basics of uh, American political system. Wishing you all the best.